Chinese company Foxconn, the primary manufacturer of iPhone, might make a multi-million investment into autonomous vehicle development in Michigan. Even though things are still up in the air, Foxconn's chairman Guo and Governor Rick Snyder have met in China to discuss the initiative. This came just a few days after Foxconn made international headline with the announcement of its $10 billion plan in Wisconsin to manufacture LCD crystals. On the other hand, Toyota has already made up its mind to invest in Michigan's driverless test center. Toyota announced to make a 5 million contribution to the American Center for Mobility, a self-driving vehicle research center currently being built in Michigan. The ACM is a non-profit organization. Toyota was the first automaker to contribute, representing a significant vote of confidence for the new facility. With Waze, you always get the fastest route. Popular navigation app Waze has got some powerful competition. BMW, Audi, and Mercedes-Benz announced in late July that they would actively help to develop here, a real-time traffic app that served the same purpose as Waze. But instead of relying on user reports, here will use sensor data from connected cars to give live traffic reports. With such powerful partners behind here, Waze and Google Map will need to step up their games. While many consider LiDAR to be the key to ultimately making self-driving cars a reality, it is also one of the biggest barriers. First of all, it is not sufficient enough to guide fully autonomous vehicles. Second, it is very pricey. For more in-depth coverage on LiDAR evolution and a lot more in the connected car space, visit our website, theconnectedcar.com. Have a great week ahead, and we'll see you very soon.